Did you guys know you guys could have your motorcycle license right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to safely drive a motorcycle and I'm going to teach you the gear needed, the controls, and how to actually drive. Okay, so the gear you need is long pants, so road rash protection, so if you go in the ditch, you're not getting road rash. Um, ankle high boots, so you can, so when you step down, you don't like roll your ankle or anything like you would in tennis shoes. Do not wear Crocs. I've seen people wear Crocs on motorcycles. That is a very sad idea. <laughs> um, you need a helmet to protect your noggin. And until you're 18, you have to have a helmet. You can wear gloves to protect your hands from road rash. And a long sleeve shirt or jacket or chaps for legs and leather jacket. Belt. Yeah, it's supposed to protect you from the, um, the little termite thingies that live on the road that make your bike have problems. Okay, so this is your clutch, and this makes your motorcycle slow down like it stops the engine from powering the wheels. So when you stop, you pull in the clutch, and then this is your gear shifter. I'm in neutral right now. I'm going down to first. So you push down to go to first, and it's one push down. running it doesn't like being neutral so you hit the kill switch. Um, this is your startup. Um, this is your front brakes and when you're braking you don't want to go hard you want to go slow because if you go hard your front wheel will lock up and then your bike will basically you'll be driving your bike will go like this and you know the ball thing at the end you're the ball on the end going flying off your motorcycle when it flips like this. Um, your back brakes over here on the um, from the foot peg and if you stop too hard if you hit the back brakes really hard this will lock up and you'll see and you can um, do a high side sometimes very rare but most of the time your bike will go straight and when your bike is going straight you want to turn on your hazards and try to get off the side of the road and to stop a skid most likely you just have to let go and then reapply slowly okay now I'm going to teach you how to actually drive it um but to actually have to drive it you have to um gear shifting we talked about that and when you shift gears you pull in the clutch all the way go down and up or whatever my gears it's different a little different for every bike like that bike would be like one to ten most likely for first gear but mine's one to five and then second gear is depends on the day if it's 5 to 15, 5 to 10. This morning it was going 5 to 10. Um, you just keep shifting up and you'll hear it in your bike. Like your um, your speedometer won't go up but and you can't go any faster and that's when you know you need to pull in the clutch and shift up. And when you shift up, you let go. You'll have the throttle in and then you let go of the throttle. So then your engine doesn't. And sometimes you'll slip gears like having a false neutral. Your gear will go back in neutral and you can't move and you just glide and then you gotta shift up again. And then you have you have shift up and everything. And then lane choice. A driving lane like that is split into three lanes for a motorcyclist. And usually you wanna be on the edge of it goes one, two, three. You wanna be on the line of one and two to be seen the most. And if there's a car that's creeping up on you, you want to get in the three and like take off or get behind them, but don't pull over them on the side of the road. Um, blind spots, semi trucks, very dangerous, very scary to drive by because you have the wind coming off of it trying to push your bike like this. And then it's scary because most of the time they won't see you because if it's hard to see a car with them, imagine you're four times smaller than a car. And then group riding, usually you stagger. You have one person here, one person here, one person here, and it's the most experienced driver, the 
less experienced driver and then the most experienced, so I ride in the middle with my parents. So now I'm actually going to show you how to drive it. I know I'm not going to drive up the 